Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. After the intro, we'll take a much closer look at the new Google Music. The first thing you'll notice is the complete change in design. Google Music has adopted the same kind of card view that you would find in the Google Play Store, so while the experience is vastly different from the old Google Music, the design elements are actually quite similar to some current Google apps. When you open the interface and click on the top left, you'll be shown a list. There is Listen Now, My Library, Playlists, Radio, and Explore. This not only helps you enjoy your own library, but gives you an interface to explore Google Music and the content you can find there. When you go to any area where there are artists, song, or playlists, they show up as little little cards not unlike in the Google Play Store. This is definitely nicer than the list view that Google Music used to use. At the bottom right is a three dots button and we'll talk more about that here in a minute. The whole interface essentially revolves around this main premise. When you're exploring new artists, it's more or less the same interface as selecting an artist from your personal library. So once you get used to the functionality, you can get through the whole app without much of a problem. As a whole, the interface is more colorful and more complicated. Gone is the dark background with the simple list view where you just select your songs. It's more focused on the entire experience of Google Play Music instead of just replaying the music in your library. This leads us into functionality. If you strip it all the way down, the functionality is about the same. You open the app, you select some music, and then it either plays it from your device or streams it from your library if you've uploaded it to Google. If you can still use the Play Music for everything that you could before, nothing has been removed. However, the big improvements come from all the additional stuff you can do. You can now browse music directly from the Google Play app rather than being required to open the Google Play Store and browse that way so you no longer need two applications to get the full experience of Google Music. That said, the biggest change is how it rolls the personal Play Music experience and the Play Music Store all into a single experience. You cannot enter one part of the app without all the other parts following you. You'll be recommended music based on your playlists and radios, and you'll be shown your own music when exploring new stuff. The last basic feature we'd like to cover before we get into the paid stuff is the radio function. You can create radio stations based on an artist in your library, so if you like the band Local H, you can create a station and it'll play music from the same genre as Local H. You can also create stations based on albums, songs, and even genres. Oh, of course it would be irresponsible if we didn't mention the most talked about new feature of Play Music, the subscription service. For now it's $7.99 if you sign up before June 30th, 2013, and presumably $9.99 a month after that. They're calling this an All Access Pass, and it is pure awesome. Here's how All Access works. You can listen to anything available on the Google Play Store. It's really that simple. Any artist, any song available on the Google Play Store is yours to listen to. Just go to the artist page, find a song, and click it, and it'll play right away. Essentially, Google's music library becomes yours. Lastly, to best use this service, each artist has a three-dot menu button that we mentioned earlier. By pressing on that, you can start a radio station using any artist, song, etc. as a base. Thus, you can launch a radio station from anywhere and listen to music immediately. Overall, the new Play Music experience is amazing. It's finally grown up into a full-fledged Google service, and it's one that all music lovers can appreciate. Even without all access features, your library pops out at you in a way only Google can manage, and the design is a change so dramatic in a positive way that it makes the app fun to use again. With the all access pass, all bets are off. The way it's designed, you can literally blend your entire library with Google's entire library and not even notice. The whole app is your oyster to do with as you please. As stated earlier, this may not mean much to Spotify customers since Google doesn't have the 20 million tracks that Spotify does. But when Google expands their library to match that, Spotify will have a hard time convincing people to hang around. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the video description.